President Biden and former President Trump are returning to the campaign trail now that the first debate is in the books. Political watchers saw a shaky performance for the sitting president and noted plenty of uh, unchecked falsehoods from the former president. Jared Hill has the very latest. The first ever debate between a sitting president. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the and a former president. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. He's giving voters a lot to consider. Early in the night, viewers heard President Biden's voice falter and answers that trailed off. Um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, Look, on the other side of the stage, Trump delivered falsehoods on his economic record. We have the greatest economy in the history of our country. His legal troubles. He indicted me because I was his opponent. And abortion. He's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill the baby. That is simply not true. We are not for late term abortion, period, period, period. With just about four months until the election, both candidates are already on the campaign trail again, trying to sway undecided voters. After his performance last night, some Democrats are openly contemplating whether it's too late to replace Biden on the ticket. The House Democratic leader was asked whether Biden should step down. Should he step aside? Post-debate, many Republicans are celebrating their presumptive nominee. Donald Trump is the only man on that stage that's qualified and capable of serving as the next president. As of now, both candidates are still committed to meeting on the debate stage again in September. Jared Hill, CBS News, Atlanta, Georgia.